Hi guys, this is just a video to show off the new Firefox 8 or Aurora. As you can see at the bottom here, unlike the beta versions which actually overwrite your stable versions of Firefox, you can actually have both the stable version of Firefox and the Aurora or the Alpha build. Um, you can't actually run them at the same time though, but it's still good to have you know a stable and an Alpha just in case the Alpha, for some reason the Aurora version um, you know, goes haywire on you. So if you just open it up, I'll just show you, it's a brand new one, um, it only came out yesterday actually, it's 8.0A2. There isn't actually any new features apart from a performance, slight performance boost which I'll show uh, in a few graphs later on. And once, for the first time I opened it, um, the add-ons, if they weren't first parties actually made by Mozilla, uh, it, it actually basically blocked them from running until you individually tick them to run again. So if I go on top left here, go to my add-ons. Most of them obviously don't work just because they're not compatible. Um, but Adblock was actually disabled and I actually had to uh, re-enable it, enable it again. So that's quite good. So if you, for example, didn't know that there was a few running in the background, now you can actually you know, decide which ones you want to actually run, or which ones you want to get rid of or just uh, disable for the time being. So uh, it's basically exactly the same visually. Um, the only real difference between Firefox 7 and 8 is a slight performance boost, which I'll just show you. Um, I took a few graphs. Basically, uh, if we go to the first one first, um, on SunSpider, uh, it's basically a test to see uh, how fast the browser runs a certain number of web pages uh, continuously. And the lower the score in milliseconds, the better. Uh, the dark blue bar is Firefox 7, and the lighter one is Firefox 8. Now, this isn't obviously a huge uh, Im uh, improvement because it looks massive, but if you look at the uh, scale here, uh, it's only roughly 20, maybe 25, 30 points uh, better, uh, 30, mil uh, 30 milliseconds better. Because if I had the graph, the uh, y-axis graph going to zero, it'd literally be you know, like a millimetre between them, so you wouldn't be able to see them. But you can tell there is actually a difference, and Firefox 8 actually remained quite constant throughout the three tests I did. Firefox 7 actually increased its score between two of them and then uh, stayed constant, so that's good. Um, and then if I go on to V8, which is again, uh, this time it's, it's not an internet test obviously, but it's more to do with Java. And again, it's a tiny difference. Uh, Firefox 7, higher is better this time. Uh, Firefox 7 got 1764, and Firefox 8, uh, the Aurora version obviously, got three points more. So it's a tiny difference. It's less than 1%, uh, but it is an improvement, and it will probably be bigger in the final release because Firefox 7 is uh, in the latter stages of beta now but Firefox 8 has basically only come on in the last few weeks to, to developers, uh, you know, to the Aurora state, so it will probably increase even more when it gets to beta and then to stable, so that's a good uh, sign. The last thing I'll do, I can't run both of them at the same time, you can only run Aurora or Firefox, so um, I showed in a previous video how Firefox 6 and Firefox 7, a uh, Firefox 7 um, improvement of fire, over Firefox 6 was uh, memory utilization, so the same web pages actually use up less space on Firefox 7 than they did on Firefox 6. And we'll see if there's any, again, any improvement this time between the alpha build on Firefox 8 and Firefox 7. So what I'll do, I'll open up quite a few uh, web, uh, web pages and we'll let them load for a bit. So 5's OK. And then I'll press Control, Delete. Start task manager, and you can s wait for it to get a bit uh, smaller. So it's about 144,000 kilobytes, and there's also a container which is at 12,000. So if you open up, you can that's the container for uh, Firefox. But if we just include the memory, I'll scroll up a bit, it's, it's now 148, let's say 148,000. And it's got five things uh, open, so it stayed pretty constant. Now, if we open the same tabs in uh, Firefox 7, the beta version, it should go straight to all of them. Get rid of that one. And wait for it to load a bit, and then we press Control Delete again. The other one, remember, was at about 148,000. 
and this one we'll wait for it to go down or up if it moves a bit so it's gone it's roughly about 153,000 kilobytes it might go down a bit more no that's at this, it's stayed at 153 so again it's not a massive improvement but it's gone uh, down because this is the older version remember because um, Firefox 8 was 148 this is 153 so again it's even smaller uh, memory footprint than Firefox 7 and Firefox 7 was a very good um, improvement over Firefox 6 and again um, Firefox 8 is only an alpha build so it should get a significant uh, boost in performance and memory utilization when it gets to beta and stable so yeah Firefox 8 is a bit of an incremental upgrade but you know it's free uh, and it costs you know it doesn't cost anything and it takes maybe a minute to download and install so I would definitely re recommend getting it